Hi, fishy folks, and happy, well, I don't know what day it's going to be. I'm filming videos uh, sort of in a batch because I have basically two weeks of travel with one day home in between, and I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to want to start filming videos when I have, like, laundry and packing and family time I have to do. So, anyway, before we get started with the video, do me a favor, go ahead and obliterate the subscription button. Gently, boop, the notification bell. And uh, when we're done, check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com. I'll be shipping hopefully the beginning of March. Um, this week in New Jersey, it's gonna be kind of warm, but I'm traveling too much to ship. And to be quite honest, the fish room's a disaster. I gotta clean that before I can even start thinking about packing so I can make sure everything is peaches and cream when I pack. Anyway, as I said, I'm going on a couple trips and I just wanna talk about a couple things. A couple people have asked me why are there forks in your fish tanks and if you follow my channel you know that question gets asked a lot and I usually come up with some smart ass answer well you know it's metal so it releases minerals into the water that help with the hardness that's not true there are forks in the tanks because I I put cucumbers on them and I use the forks to sink it if I don't have a screw cumber which you can buy at myaquariumbox.com um, I use a fork. Anyway, um, what I want to talk about is what to do if you're going away and you have fish. Now, if you're going away for a couple days, I would say anything less than five, you don't need to do anything. Don't even change the water extra. Just do nothing. <coughs> I'm fine. Most fish don't eat regularly in the wild for sure and in your fish tank in pristine conditions they can easily go five days without adding food to the tank and i say adding food because there's food in there all the time especially if you have live plants there's going to be microorganisms on them that the fishies can eat off of now i'm talking guppies and community type fish um you know my oscars and and chewy my super red dragon flower horn also can go easily five days without feeding I don't know about other cichlids because I don't keep them. I mean, angels upstairs, yeah, they're fine, but I'm just talking about a standard community type fish. Some specialty fish you may need to feed every day. I don't know. So don't be commenting, what about the rare blah, blah, blah fish? I don't know. I'm a dumb guy with a camera, nicely shaped head, and quite handsome, but I'm not that bright, so. All right, so let's talk about your community tank with, you know, you got like a 55, you got a couple angels, you got a couple of neons or cardinals, some plecos, some quarries, maybe some tetras, I don't know, maybe some barbs, whatever you have. Five days, I wouldn't do anything different. I'd feed them the morning you leave, a regular amount, not extra, and be done with it. And the reason is they can survive. The reason you don't want to do anything extra is because if you screw it up and you're gone, you're gonna come home to a stinky dead tank and nobody wants that. All right, that's your standard everyday community tank. What if you have breeding tanks of guppies, like 55, because you're crazy? Again, nothing, do absolutely nothing. And the reason is, like I said, there is plenty to eat in the tank. There's microorganisms, there's fry. I mean, let me let me start over. There's microorganisms, there's fry. Yeah, there's fry. They're going to eat some while you're gone. What are you going to do? In my tanks, there's plenty of plenty of hiding spots. That's plenty of plenty in case you missed it. Um, and I'm not concerned. I, the fry will hide. If the adults get hungry enough, they will start hunting them. But you just got to have plenty of places for them to hide. Um... You got the, the microorganisms on the java moss or whatever you have for hiding spots. You got the microorganisms on the sponge filter. That's right, the sponge filter. All that stuff, there's stuff, algae, guppies, or some other community fish will eat a tiny bit of algae, right? Molly's definitely will. In addition, if your fish are healthy, really, there's no need to feed them every day. Even every five days of course if you're home yeah you want to feed them but five days no problem 
Now you may be saying to yourself, what do I do if I have a tank with 200 Super Red Pleco Fry in it? That people are already asking, when can I buy them? Because that's me. That's when you hit them with a cucumber. So I have three peeled cucumbers. I'm going to cut them into smaller chunks, jab them with a fork, and then sink them in the tank. I'm going to leave a piece big enough where the plecos can eat them for a couple days. That's what I'm going to do. Now, the only issue with that is when the cucumber starts to break down, it might pull away from the fork and float to the top. Why, you ask? Does it float? Because it's lighter than water. That's why got air in it probably anyway when that happens sometimes pluckles will go to the top and suck on it while it's uh, floating and sometimes they won't and that could be an issue if it if your water isn't healthy enough and by healthy enough I mean if you have pristine water conditions and then you start adding a rotting cucumber after a few days you might get a little bit of high ammonia uh, so you got to be careful with that that's my warning if you do the cucumber trick so here's what I'm gonna do, folks. I'm gonna cut some cucumber up. I'm gonna jab it with a fork or use my screw cumber. And uh, then I'm gonna come back and talk about some other stuff. So stand by, make sure you have a snack and a beverage. I'll be right back. All right, fishy folks, cucumbers are in the tanks. You can see here these uh, Japanese blue lower swordtail fry have, uh, have been checking out the cucumber. They're kind of picking at it. This tank has some super red bristle nose pleco grow outs. And uh, I have a, probably a bigger piece of cucumber than I need, but you know, it'll be fine, I'm sure. We got some cucumber in all the pleco tanks. Now you can see this one. Actually, when I dropped this, it kind of stirred everything up, so the tank's a little cloudy. Here's another super red pleco grow out tank with black Moscow's from Super Breeder Doug. Um, Speaking of super red plecos, I need to combine all the super reds into a grow out tank. Um, not really sure how I'm going to do that or what I'm going to do. Also, while we're talking about plecos, this tank has um, steel nebula guppies, nebula steel guppies, whatever they're called, and calico plecos. And I need to actually probably take both of them out of here because uh, there's quite a large colony of the guppies and I want them to grow out in a bigger tank and it's a 10 gallon tank with plecos it's a little much I'm not concerned over water quality I'm concerned over overall health of the fish so I gotta figure that out. I have some empty 20 highs that I'll probably uh, utilize to switch them up possibly when I get back from my trips all right fishy folks cucumbers in the tanks that's what you do if you have breeding tanks and you're going away for a couple days uh, if you're going away for longer than a week, I would, uh, I, I should say longer than five days, you're going to have to have somebody come over and feed your fish. And that's a whole nother video. Uh, I don't have that problem. I have a built-in uh, house sitter when it comes to my fish. Uh, one of my sons will come down and do it, and I've taught him quite well how to handle it. So I'm not concerned. There's that mystery cichlid that's chilling on the cucumber. Um, yeah, so these guppies are checking out the cucumber as well. There's some long fins in here waiting them to grow out. Uh, again, this tank is a disaster, as are all my tanks. And you know what? If you don't really like it and can't stand looking at them, watch another channel. Watch a fake channel that, you know, cleans their tanks every day before they film. I don't. In fact, usually my tanks are more dirty after or when I'm filming because I'm in there messing with stuff. And then I'm like, I'll make a video. All right, fishy folks, I do have to show you this. This is the uh, lemon blue-eyed breeding tank. Um, and uh, I put the screw cucumber in the cucumber and boom, dropped it in and they're already devouring it. Another interesting tidbit is there's a clutch of eggs right there. I don't know what the story is. All right, fishy folks, I'm rambling. That's enough. Hope everyone has a great day. Um, let me know if you have questions. Check out, you know, my Facebook group and all that stuff I want you to check out. See ya. Crookeder than a cat's ass. Could it be any crookeder? Holy crap.
it appears that there is a sword tail, a neon sword tail in a guppy tank. Stand by. That's my, uh, that's my trick. That's what the hell am I trying to say? That's my, 